Every dark is followed by a dawn. Hey everybody, it's Chunka Conroy! Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2! Last time, we made some of our final preparations for New Game Plus. After doing all that, we are as well outfitted as can be. We take on the strongest enemies in all rest, the super bosses. Starting with the lowest level, but not weakest outright, Gladiator Orion. Hold your positions! Lady Morag, be careful. For this fight, I have chosen Bridget. Her evasion should be awfully good, and it sort of beats this guy at his own game because he's so evasion focused. Oh, uh, we got a topple, good. He has high break resistance, so I would imagine that you probably want to be taking advantage of that. Uh, or you want to be uh, preparing for that with uh, lots of beta scopes. Thanks to his low level, he has some of the lowest HP of the super bosses, sort of playing with the fact that he isn't getting hit often. Uh, as long as you can do some good burst damage to him, he'll just die. Uh, break please? Diamond Mist? Fusion combo? Ha, he does the strew! I always love that. So he has a high break resistance. Whoa! Okay, that was cool looking. His blade is an electric chroma katana. He has the earth weakness for now. Uh, he does eventually lose that weakness if I'm not mistaken. Oh boy, okay. I should not have switched off of Bridget. I really want to take advantage of that evasion. I'm not doing a good job tanking. Tora's, is it Tora? No, Rex has the aggro, what the hell? I guess he is hitting for a lot now, yes. Give me Bridget, or give me death. Please uh, make it Bridget, oh God. Yeah, so he's very evasion focused, see there. There he made a ring of fire on the ground that does damage as you step in it, an effect that we have never seen before. But perhaps in another time, another place, we may gain access to it. Bridget, I don't want true sword bite. That is a break and topple. His auto attack does a launch, playing off of that art. It's pretty dangerous. Burnout? I need to raise up the aggro. Rex is tanking. Quite well, actually. I don't want to say that out loud. Oh boy! I think Rex still has Rock from the last fight, actually. Yeah, he does! We're doing this well with Rock! Famous last words, I know. Uh, besides that, his arts power up when he's enraged. He's already enraged at 75% health, getting it a lot quicker than other fights do. Tora's got the aggro. Morag is not doing the best job of actually getting the attention here. We can finish off this. I'm gonna wait for him to do an art. Uh, let's do it now. Tora's been launched. Good, I actually got the aggro for once. Awesome, all it took was Tora getting launched. We got two orbs on him. What? <laughs> Damn it. That fire hurts a lot, actually. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, shoot. Come here, what Tora I have to Tora made say. things a little Great easier work. for you. Entering self-evaluation mode. Get in my optical headband. Heck yeah. Oh. Now, this will be fun. Use 50 chain attacks? Oh, no. Oh, no. A certain amount of total. Oh, gosh. Uh, I'm actually running out of things to do in Merc Missions with you. I'm going to have to start playing with you. Oh! Analysis systems upgraded. Full admin rights granted. Rather impressive. You mean we can take off your clothes now? <laughs> okay, no, 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 not getting into that conversation. <laughs> this is the part where I tell you Gladiator Orion can be cheesed. You go over here. The insolence. To think you would be deserving of a place in our entourage. Great. The insolence. We shall pay for it. Excellent. You shoot him. Jump off of this cliff. Go down here, shoot him for 20 minutes. I'm serious. You will always win if you do this. He has no ranged attacks on him. They're all melee based. Once you do this, he has no chance. This may work. You shall kneel before us. Too easy. Go! I love how she uses the cannon to just like, as a booster on the back of her bathtub to launch herself forward. That's creative. Uh, his blade fell off of the cliff. His blade's just staring at us. I don't like you very much. 
I should state that I'm Let's using avant-garde medals to win these battles, just so you know right now. Good accessory, can eliminate the need for dedicated healing, even though I do have Nia with us anyway. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't going to do it that way. There you can see his high evasion. Some kind of accuracy uh, ox cores might be good. Things like night vision are really good. Oh boy, we're gonna get a break with final disaster here! Kick him, kick him, kick him, kick him! Right upside the face! The enemy's element is now water! <laughs> so enunciating there. Uh, Bridget, you come out! I gotta be ready to evade! Okay. Wow, all those failed blowdowns look really funny. Uh, we'll go for Volcano and then we'll finish it with, uh, oh gosh, uh, get over here, guys. Guys, get out of the fire! Guys, get out of the fire! Out of the fire! Out of the fire! I mean, okay, fine, you can stay in the fire if you really want to. I guess we're kind of doing halfway decent. I don't want to jinx it. Break! Can I break? Oh no, we got rid of it! Okay, make an eruption! With a break, too! Even better! Cootie Pie! Awesome. That's three orbs! I hope that's enough. Would have been nice to get a topple before I activated it, but I didn't. Whoa! The world is ending! Praxis! Sometimes you just want a dedicated healer, and I understand. Dromar! You actually get to do something in this fight! Going for ice. Da -da -da. See what I mean about his health not being that spectacular? I probably could have chain attacked in the first round and not really missed out on much. Don't have an electric blade, so we're not going to get a bigger burst than we could have this round, but it's okay. Uh, Adenine, how about you come out? Crossette's not under her buffs right now, so I might as well use you and uh, use the fire element on Bridget. Cutie pie. Yeah, he's done. There's no hope for this guy. Rigid? You hit the elemental weakness. Yeah, that's the power of Adenine. We're done. See, he's not that bad. Uh, some people do think that this is the hardest one to fight under leveled, at least. And I can kind of see it. Um, I would definitely say that... Uh, he does hit really hard, and if you're not evading and canceling his attacks with level 4 specials and chain attacks and all that nonsense, he probably will hurt you pretty bad. They did a quarter million damage in one hit. Yeah! He dropped quite a lot of items. We got a Sigma Drive, slightly fills the party gauge for each driver art used. Fusion combo up five on Crossette or Pyra sounds pretty keen, wouldn't you say? Galaxy Cube we've already seen, Agro Boost five, Affinity Max Barrier, and then he drops some Core Crystals, of course. So, uh, I'm gonna use these seven rare Core Crystals just in case, just so you know we're not wasting them. Zeke does not have the weapon type that this last blade is, so just in case it happens, uh, I want to use you. I'd rather not, though. It'd be way funnier if that was my last blade, including New Game Plus. I suppose that would also lengthen the post-game by an episode, because we wouldn't have to start over to do this, so, so that outcome would be funny in its own way. I wouldn't even see the length of the series coming. They totally made the level 101 tougher than it should be because they were mad about people arguing of whether Final Marcus was a real super boss in the last game. Uh, I mean, uh, we're going to Temperantia! Rex Rex hasn't been getting a whole lot of usage. I don't think I've even called him Rex Rex one time unless I was speaking as Tora, so, uh, yay. We've been chased around by this thing a lot. Uh, I think this was the first super boss other than Gladiator Orion. Oh god, now I'm doing the Final Marcus thing, I need to stop. Uh, yeah, so we ran into this thing. Pernacious Benth. I've always read it as Pernacious Burnth, and I, I uh, am glad that I read it correctly the first time when I actually had to say it out loud to somebody. I'm gonna try to get behind it. Bop it in the ankle, Rex! Rolling smash! Sword bash! Rolling smash! Throw that, throw the sword at it! Didn't quite get the bonus effect. I was hoping somebody would topple it. I'm not even really sure what we have. Oh, I neutered it. <laughs> I might need to start working on my accuracy, because their evasion bonuses from being higher level than me is probably getting out of hand. It took me like three tries to topple him there. 
Smash Photon! Woo! Probably give uh, Cutie Pie a uh, light element. He's got a good chances of dropping core crystals uh, as well as uh, some decent enough core chips. Oh god, without Mithra, I am screwed. I need to not be risky about this. Well, I could smash and then go to Mithra. Or, or I can miss that too. That's lovely. Level 3 special is good DPS. So now I would like to talk to you a bit about Numa. There's not much to say about this boss. He's physical attacks, he's got one either attack or poison breath. And his item drops are the most notable thing about it. They're good enough, I guess, nothing to write home about. But Numa. You can't really see her stats. She does not have an affinity chart like other blades do. And as a result of that, she doesn't get to build trust. I've mentioned that she's the best tank in the game, but I didn't talk up her damage that much when we first got her, even though she was doing unreal amounts of damage then. But that's just it. She was doing unreal amounts of damage when we got her. Besides that, her damage isn't that spectacular, and in fact, you might have noticed her falling off toward the end game, aka already. Internally, her auto attack stat is 1100, which isn't that great. Mithra's already doing better than her. Um, Pyra might even be doing better specials than her. If you want fire element, you really should just be using Pyra and not uh, Numa. You should be using Numa to build other stuff and also to be a near unkillable tank. She's not a bad blade at all. I, far from it. I hope I'm not making her sound bad here. I just want to really make you aware that she's not the ultimate attacker that you might have pegged her as. It's still a good thing in my book that Mithra is the spammer and Pyra still has a role as blade combo man. Um, my main logic being is that I like that these different forms cover one another's weaknesses. Where if you want raw damage and blade combos, you want to go with Pyra. If you want evasion and buffs, you go with Mithra. And then if you want to be an unkillable tank, you go with Numa. They cover one another's weakness as well, and it's what makes the Aegis girls so good. Just gonna build up my special here with Pyra. Got it. Mega explosion, go. Mega explosion I think I'm gonna activate Numa right now just so I can be unkillable just before he enrages. Numa? Uh, let's go for. Do we have a stone orb? Or I guess we can go gravity. Gravity's good. Gotcha? I wanna go Black Abyss. Grab all this stuff. Shining Star Chip! That's a good, good core chip. You should be aware of it already. Topple? Good! And I don't have an Earth Orb. I do not have an Earth Orb. We could do Meteorite with Cutie Pie. Or he could, Tora could just have it ready because he's a boss. Looks like it could be a full burst. Maybe. Not sure. We're going to deactivate in about 20 seconds, so it sounds like it's time. Ceiling reinforcements might have been good earlier because of the enemies by his side, but we should be pretty darn good night. Go... Uh, what elements do I have on Torah? I could do a double break on this turn, actually. Cross set. We'll go dark. And we're going to get a full burst next round. Perfect. And another one. Pyra! See what I mean? Her damage is not even doing 100,000 to hit, and we've been doing way more than that with other blades. Dromark, you got... I don't need to use Dromark. What am I doing? I should have been using Adenine. Cutie Pie is getting the full burst. I actually think the full burst might have been a bad idea. I got longer with being essentially unkillable, so hopefully it'll be enough. Oh boy! You look like you threw Tor in there. I got to level up in the middle of the fight with Rex. In case one full heal wasn't enough. Oh boy. Oh no. I did six in it. I did almost seven million damage and it wasn't enough. Really? And Pyra's deact- Oh god, this is bad. Topple him! Evasion up, Mithra! Go! Do it! Smash! We up with a break. Oh god! Oh god! Topple it! No! Topple it! Go! Come on! You can do it! Rex! Rex!
Max, I believe in you! Oh boy, I got dramatic right there. Oh! We did it. We did it. We just got some level 90 trash to take out. Platinum belt, machine hunter five, top of resist. It's okay items, I guess. It's super good to overkill stuff in chain attacks now because we're getting bonus experience and that's going to have purposes down the road. More bonus experience is more good. Whoa, nice! What were my pouch items anyway? I suppose Rex could have gone for some special recharge and not just- I don't know he had- did he? What is this? Oh shoot, he had a crappy one. Uh, If I'm using Rex, he should have some special recharge on him, I think. Nia had a good special recharge, that's good, and Tora had exactly what I would want in him because it's his arts that make him good. Alright, that's number two down. The next one is in the Kingdom of Tantal on the lower level. Uh, no, lower level. I don't know the difference between up and down at the Central Aether Boulder. Phew. That was a slog. Alright, where are we headed next? Right behind you, I think. Uh, where? around here somewhere uh give me a little bit <laughs> for this next one i'm gonna be playing as tora i'm going to get rid of rex's other two blades because he's not going to be able to resist the driver combo at a bunch of stages and tora tora's got it pretty good and if we really need it i'm gonna be bringing in nia who's got break arts and a launch art of her own she's not known for focusing on a oh boy i need to I really need to save right here just to be really sure because it has to be foggy weather out and it was hell to get it to that point. Uh, during foggy weather, there are squoods all over these rocks, including Cloud Sea King. Ken. <sighs> Looks like Tora in trouble here. Poppy, that might be the most build up to an underwhelming one syllable name I've ever seen. Cloud Sea King. Ken. There's not much to say about this enemy. He can inflict blowdown and attack in a circle around him as Squoods do, but mostly he's just known for his bulk. He's got a hell of a lot of health, you're probably gonna need a full burst to dispatch him, and some people like using him for grinding uh, core crystals, as he's just got a lot more health than Reeking Douglas. It's just, the problem with him is the specific and rare weather that it can take. I was here for about 10 minutes trying to get it right, and... I don't know. I think that Douglas is accessible at more levels than him. You can't take this guy on at, you know, got what, like level 80 is probably what you could do with the other one. Uh, this one, you do have to be near the level cap. I do think that he is more challenging than that. However, he is farmed for another reason. He drops a certain type of uh, core ship that you definitely want to have a lot of for all sorts of different blades. Heat! Gimme kitty pie! Man, his break resistance is actually kind of tough. Even with my Taurus setup, he's just not coming together. Uh, Steam Bomb? Gimme this, I want these. I want these really badly. Moon Matter Chip! There it is! That is one of the best core chips in the entire game, usually in the conversation for top two. It's kind of debatable depending on the blade of which of the two is factually better. But they're both pretty darn good. Uh, I got Smash. Badly. Oh boy! Right on the Smash, I did the blade combo finisher. Go, Rex! Give me a Smash Steam explosion! This will be beautiful damage if it actually counted. No, it didn't. Oh well. Uh, switch to cutie pie. Break. Even if I don't win this fight on my first go, the fact that I'm getting moon matter chips every single time I do this, that's making it worth it in and of itself. Kerpow! Nice. I want to go for burnout, hopefully get Rex on Mithra to get a light orb on it. He seems to struggle with doing that on his own, where he doesn't seem to switch between fire and Mithra that much. Uh, there's Cloud Breath. Oh boy. Yeah, that's an ether based attack that attacks all around. It's one of the more screwy things he can do to you. If you're low on health, he might take you out. Good, good, good. He's on Nuclear Blast. He's got Mithra. Launch! And smash again. You know the drill. He's kind of like a drill. He's pointy, he spins around, and all that junk. 
It's time to shine! Topple him. Please get on Mithra. Nuclear Blast Launch! Yeah, he's up in the air! It flew up into the sky! Oh, I did the damage cap! Yeah! I think that might have been our first damage cap! Percival broke the. Oh! No! Percival broke the damage cap at one point, though, but that's still really cool! It's so satisfying when you pull it off for the first time in a playthrough and hit it on a super boss, too! Uh, Poppy Cutie Pie, it's time to shine! I'm just, I'm so used to hearing him say that all the time. Uh, we'll get the smash, and that'll lead into the next part of the blade combo. Good! Black Abyss, go! And if we can activate Numa. Oh boy. Uh, I might not even need Numa at this rate. Go up! Smash Black Abyss! Smash that Black Abyss! We stand for light! Okay, we can almost finish this. Topple him. Here's the Hyper Graviton. Not gonna get the smash, but it's okay. Launch is good enough, I suppose, sometimes. I'm an overachiever, what can I say? Uh, get me Poppy Kitty Pie on the line. And I'm thinking I'm gonna use Numa to finish this. I'm just gonna go uh, Earth Earth here, and then I'm gonna use Numa to finish with Electric. <laughs> Rex is ow! Let's go. And Numa. Lightning Quake, smash! I got it in just in time, perfect timing! This should count! Yeah, there's the smash, just as the special connected. No, it didn't, oh well. Too bad. Aw, oh, he looks so cute wielding guns at it. Uh, go for it. Man, we're, <laughs> I did not need to build this many orbs. <laughs> This is sad. <laughs> Sound like a bird laughing over here. If you ever taken care of a bird, you know what I'm talking about. Oh boy. Ice. Go for adenine. And Numa always hits the elemental weakness, and she's going to get the full burst. I sort of appreciate full bursts more because they waste less of your time. Sometimes chain attacks can go on for an eternity. I'm at 2,000% damage. 90,000, 200,000. I missed the timing, but it was still the damage cap anyway. <laughs> now I see why speedrunners don't even bother with the timing. If you ever wondered, now you know, ew, that came out of that orifice. Do I really want to go digging around in that? No worries. I bet I can learn something to help my salvaging too. New challenge battle available. In the land of challenge, we can now rematch Cloud Sea King Canada higher level. Probably not gonna do it if I'm being real with you. Uh so we get a tyrant ring, either defense up five. I got three moon matter chips from that run, blade combo boost five, excellent on Pyra. Reflect immunity, you're gonna want this for not the next fight, but soon. And we also got up to 40 legend. I'm already maxed out on rare core crystals again. I gotta empty this out. Before I do though, Moon Matter Chips. Let's talk. The Moon Matter Chip is the single best chip for critical hits. We can get Mithra up to 1400 auto attack with a 56% chance of critting. This is with massive melee Mithra factored in, so it's not quite as good as it looks. Um, it shows the factored in crit rate with aux cores on this menu. I believe that this, despite what you would think, Fiora can get up to essentially 100% critical without this when you're at max affinity. So not really necessary for her, but for someone like Mithra, it's the best. Sort of banishing. See what I mean about Numa not really being that spectacular? Uh, Bridget could see some benefit from that. Theory is looking pretty good. Great axes would see some strong benefit. I I I think I know. I think I know who I'm using these on. 
Uh, ooh, Shining Star Ship. That's also really good. I was talking about that earlier. Uh, the Shining Star Ship, that could go on Alpha. The Shining Star Ship is worse than that overpowered ship I gave Cutie Pie or a, a, a Poppy Buster all that time ago. Jeez. Uh, the thing that I decided is the Moon Matter Ship should probably go on Dogus. He, his critical hit rate is good because it's a great axe. His auto attack stat should be good. Yeah, this sounds good to me. And I think the other one... Oh, it's actually slightly worse for Talos' auto attack. Gives her a higher critical chance, though. Ah, sure, Cutie Pie, you earn this. And we can always get more of them if we really want them that badly. We're only going to get more powerful from here. In fact, we already just did get more powerful. We can absolutely take him again. That's kind of the nice thing about the super bosses. If you just barely lose, if you smash them, you get to keep the items and thus have an easier time next time. It's a way that the game's battle system makes repeat attempts of hard fights more forgiving while still giving you things that you legitimately earned. The world tree is next. Megra's gateway. I think I'm gonna stick with who I've got. In the very same room we fought Amalthus, Valta Sovereign, Grandum Sovereign, that's a Gundam Sovereign, probably intended, and Mark Seven Arek. These three come as a complete package. Even when rematching it with the Tombstone, these two regular enemies will always spawn alongside it. What I wanna do, actually, is let's target, Ar let's target Arek. And I wanna make my first blade combo dark, dark, dark. You know what's going to happen. It's one of those fights. Launch it up. Give me smash, jeez. I was not reacting to me hitting down on the D-pad. Always my scare of playing this game with a pro controller, one of the reasons why I was using Joy-Con for a while. And then everyone's like, it's not that bad if you got the newer pro controller. And I'm like, oh, I have the new pro controller. Okay, and nope, it still happened anyway. Uh, give me Cutie Pie. It has 100% break resistance. It's immune to blowdown and knockback, just like all the other super bosses are. I don't think I've mentioned the blowdown and knockback thing yet, so just so you know, that's the case for all super bosses. Topple him! Wow, uh, this is, uh, crap, I didn't mean to do that special. Uh, well, crap, uh, can we, can we, can we Numa? Can we Numa to finish this? Uh, huh. I don't want to jinx it, but this is going down easier than I thought. We're only a minute into the fight, it's almost dead. Uh, activate chain attack now? Just to prevent it from calling for help, because I know it's got a reinforcements thing going on. Cutie pie! I should be doing AoE on each of these if I can, if I can even remember which ones have AoE. You're weak to water, I don't have access to that. Cross set? Your level two's got AOE, so we're good there. Getting another use out of that. I think Poppy Alpha has AOE on her level two, but it's in a fan shape in front. Maybe this will hit the big guy? Yeah, it hit his ankles. That's good enough. Uh, did not mean to use Dromark. Crap! That's potentially awkward. Numa, come through for us! What was that? <laughs> what even was that? It dropped some decently helpful items, I guess. Uh, I remember being scared of this thing, and I don't know why. Maybe it didn't get off its gimmick, and I was scared of the reinforcements that it called more than it. Sort of like old Dougie back. Sort of like old Douglas back there. <laughs> Dougie. Poppy Cutie Pie, go for it. Oh shoot, I didn't awaken my core crystals. I'm wasting core crystals on this. Oh, the enemies it summons are just familiar on sovereigns. They're level 54. You call yourself a super boss? You're nothing but a regular enemy. There, I said it. You thought I was gonna say normal boss? No, you're not even deserving of that moniker. A Malthus was harder. The original boss in this room that you can knock through a hole in the ground and kill in one hit is tougher than you. You should be ashamed of yourself. Have I seen this body type before? He's a giant with a horn. It's gotta be kind of rare. That fight ended so quickly, I didn't get a good chance to actually talk about it all that much. So it can guard, it has a perfect guard where it cocoons up. Um, 
it can call more minions, like I said. Apparently, it's not the only thing that it calls. Um, it has the ability to enrage all of its allies. It can Blade Shackle and Affinity down. I wrote in my notes, kind of an annoying fight, but it doesn't have much help for what it is due to so many foes getting involved to make up for it. Um, get off a chain attack, stop it from doing whatever you're afraid of. Once enraged, it will increase its ether and switch to a random element. It also has a high chance of evading ranged attacks, which I wasn't using. It's probably why I had such an easy time. Uh, as for the items that it dropped, we got World Tree Ward, uh, Critical Up 4, Common Core Crystal... Oh. Did I... I must... Yeah, Sunlight Chip. There it is. The Sunlight Chip is tied for, I think, the third highest critical hit in the game? Yes. So, good auto attack. So, great auto attack. Pretty good critical hit. Uh, this could be a worthwhile chip for some blades. I've been using Adenine a lot lately, and I think I'll probably use her more in the future. We could give it to her. Sacrifice. I like how I keep reacting to these names, and it shows what it is on the left. <laughs> Woots Knuckles. Whew. We're back at Argentum! Oh no, the strongest super boss is gonna be bad and no! And uh, now I'm actually just here to refine some Oxhors. Reflect immunity. Annuls reflect damage. Some enemies have the ability to reflect attacks back to you, and uh, that's what we're gonna have to be dealing with in the coming fight. For this one, it's Morag's turn. And I think uh, we could bring out Zeke. I'd say that could be pretty good. Uh, we could do Mithra and uh, Zeke. Yeah, that sounds good. Sorry, Rex, you have been uh, degraded to just being the lowly servant boy for the blade that you wield. Next, we go back Where to the Jubilee Gate here? at the Cliffs of Moritha. And I'd like to give credit to Mr. Mario Expert on Twitter for telling me that if you go and view Cassandra's heart to heart right now, the new Super Boss can actually photobomb the heart to heart. <laughs> That's super on brand for Cassandra, just saying. <laughs> there she blows! Artifice Ophion! We can actually fight against Ophion. It looks like a conga so line just coming out of the side. Ba dum bum 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 cha. 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 He even weeps his tail on the on the cha. I didn't intend that. It just worked out really nicely. Uh, you coming over here, bud? You coming over here? I didn't do so hot against you the first time we met when I was piloting that boat. I'd like a rematch. It's okay. I won't use the boat this time. I know how you don't like the boat. My Spoiler alert, he is outright break immune, so you might not you won't be able to take advantage of the fall damage. Uh, and uh, they just totally abandoned the plan, didn't they? Okay, uh, well, alright, maybe we'll get lucky anyway. So, I recommend playing with Bridget more than anyone else. He has almost all ranged attacks, and Bridget has a base 90% chance of evading those. I have Rex with Mithra only so that we have Bridget's max evasion available at all times, as well as increased accuracy. And Zeke is equipped with just Doggus so that he'll never switch off. This is an example of how you optimally want to be using Doggus. You want to have him standing on the corner, you want to just have him standing in the corner on an AI while you and someone else do the fighting. Their pirate did half a million damage with a single blade combo. Here we go. Of course Rex isn't staying on Mithra even though he's weak against light and it completely makes sense to do so. Just saying, Rex, you ain't the greatest at this. You may be the driver of the Aegis, but the strength of her driver betrays her. Ha 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 It's a thing that Morag said earlier in the story, and it's applicable now, too. So he is outright immune to break, as I said. No cheating with that, or blow down or knockback either. He becomes in a rage late, but he just kind of turns dark and makes himself exceptionally weak to light. Take advantage of that, and you should be pretty darn good. I think I'm just gonna keep doing the same blade combos over and over on him again, actually. Uh, level 4 specials can be used to cancel anything, but there's not that much to be afraid of. The main problem with him is a barrier that he puts up. This makes it so that, uh, this, uh, reflects your damage back to you and is actually a really dangerous way to have your attacks countered. Nullify Reflect gets rid of that entirely. Zeke was the only one I didn't have one for. The legendary variant dropped by Cloud Sea King Ken will always reflect attacks, unlike the common and rare variants that only sometimes work. Take my hand. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 
Let's go ahead and evade during this. I was well timed. What are you doing? What is Rex doing down here, actually? You're seeing how much Doggus is helping. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get up, Rex. Get over here, Rex. What are you doing beating up the wall? You're doing terrible. It's kind of funny how little I can rely on the boy when he's on the AI. <laughs> Thankfully, Bridget's just got stupid high evasion chances when he's actually on Mithra. Boom, 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 boom. And a weird thing about Ophia. I don't know if this was intended or not. Wow, that was really dangerous. I don't know if this was intended, but he has a high strength stat. Like, really dangerous. One of the highest in the entire game. And all of his attacks are ether based because they're all ranged and magical and all that crap. So he ends up not ever getting to use his high, one of his high, I think it might even be his highest stat. He never uses it once. It's just simply not a thing that he can do. Personally, I don't doubt his strength. I've seen what he can do to an entire boat. Have art recharge in Morag, use evasion whenever he's gonna do an art, do a level four special for anything else, and that's all she wrote. Actually not that bad of a boss. I want to show this special again because it's so freaking cool. Look at how much damage that does. Oh, he can do that. <laughs> we won't lose again. That was your fault, not mine. I know, Daddy. For an alternative strategy, even though he doesn't get affected by the driver combo, you can craft these in Poppy Swap. Unfortunately, I only have enough crystals for one, but we can't all be winners. This was the fault of negligence. I've got an alternate place to get Reflect Immunity quick. We, we from want here? to drop down from the ruins of Fountain Park and end up in Fonsamima Waters. Around here is an enemy called the King Piranhax. Which, yes, right over there, has a uh, the piss poor chance of dropping the item that you want. Which is why we want to swap in Nia and Tora. That way we can do some combos on it, hopefully. Maybe do a couple before it dies. Be afraid, friends. Ah, Call sure. Let's kill this thing so it doesn't get in the way. No Fabulous! It all just went right in the drink! Tora will beat them, no problem! Awesome! Yeah! Show us some of that not on spirit! Great tip! Great, great tip! And I can't get it any more on the land. I got a common core crystal, and there's a penny down there that I can't collect. Wonderful. Friggin' five stars right there. Reflect immunity! Got it in three kills! It fell right on my little head! You impress me. You've earned your place as my foot warmer. Yes, Daddy. Uh, so you get reflect immunity that way. You, 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 I'm not saving myself from that one. Put that on all three blades that we're going to be using. Oh shoot, no wonder I was having a hard time. I wanted to have special recharge on Morag and I had a crappy pouch item on her. I seem to be doing that a lot lately. You get the gist of the fight too. I showed you everything. Whenever it does Ouroboros, or Ouroboros, Ouroboros, not really sure I've heard it pronounced both ways. When it does that, the word, the thing drive, uh, you wanna use an evasion art there. Not everyone can have the really good evasion that Bridget does, unfortunately. We can't all be as good as no! We're we're not dead yet. Bridget, you haven't even taken damage yet. Shut up. Just to spite you, I'm gonna make sure this is the run. No. Rush down. My attack inched me off the cliff. So here's what we got. Poppy Buster offers a good uh, good defense buffs and a 50% agility mod. Um, Theory does the same and also offers a 15% agility mod. 
What I was doing wrong was special recharge and art recharge. You just want to have the Narsipur Jelly and the Hot Ruby Steam Bun because it's Xenoblade 2. Just have those both on. Don't worry about rezzing your teammates. Maybe have one teammate there in case you do something wrong so they can res you. But Morag should be able to evade everything just fine. With, with double art recharge, you'll be able to just do your evasion art every single time. The big distinction that makes this possible with Ophion is that he has no auto attack. He only he uses so nice? arts and Don't thus worry. his arts have long I'm times in between them. You can always read what he's going to do ahead of time as attacks have startups and they take time to travel over to you. Just keep evading every time he does anything. Don't worry so much about your teammates. Stand back from the cliff a little bit so that nothing goes wrong. And really, you should be fine. Seeing them just getting pelted by Rocky missiles and not even caring and standing their ground, perfect posture heart. and everything. Dance. That was real funny. I realized why I kept losing this fight other than the pouch items and it's so stupid. It's because the reflect immunity was on Mithra but not Pyra and he kept switching to Pyra. Isn't that always just what it is? Z-Connector's time to shine. I got this. Screw it, I'm just using Morag and uh, and I'm just using Morag and Zeke. Might as well just take advantage of Dagus. Yep. Form the third. Roger that, Lady Morag. Poor Pyra just laying defeated. Morning rags while we're just bashing up everything right around her face. I'm on a roll. to me. He hey. Magnificent elemental burst. This is not the end. I went back to myself. Finish them. In I go. It's like an exercise in loneliness. And there it is. And no matter what, it's always that over that. Ophion's data terminal is what it drops everybody. right into the inventory. No way. We were awesome. This fight's just getting into a rhythm. Whenever he does one of the FU attacks, you either want to use a chain attack or a level four special, one or the other. If you don't have a level four special, chain attack. If you do, level four special. It's surprisingly simple and just not that exciting of a fight to watch. If you really want to watch me fight it, here you go. So that data terminal, what's that do? Inside the world tree on the lower level, there is the data processing room, miser elevator. We want to go to the control room overlooking the nuclear dump facility. And to get there, we're going to go to miser central deck. Welcome to the control room of the entire world tree, which has one computer in it. <laughs> Sealed bulkhead. We can now open this after all this time and get... This is for a just cause. A lot of cork. Wow, that was more stuff than I thought. Okay, uh, breaking it down. World Tree drops. Good on Tora. Uh, he can get up to that by doing his driver combo thing over and over again. That's a legendary variant. I recommend that pretty well. Humanoid Hunter 5, ultimate shield. 50% chance to deflect enemy attacks. So you can pretend like you're Ophion. And we get a stash of Dilaton chips. The exact same ones that we got all the way back in Corvin's quest. Except this time I know it's not called Dilation Chip. And if I'm remembering that quest correctly, this is good for damage and block rate. It's what we gave to uh, Poppy Buster. I almost called it Cutie Pie again. Yes, yes, that's what we have there. Uh, if we wanted to outfit Bridget to do blocking rather than criticals, this could be good for her. Her auto attack really could have been higher in that fight. That's probably why I wasn't doing so hot. Um, I take a hit on the critical no matter what I equip her with. Maybe that was why I didn't do it sooner. We could do... <laughs> Mithra, no. Poppy Alpha. The problem with using it on Corvin is that his critical hit rate is so damn good that I feel dirty taking that away from him. 57% is damn strong. Now, there's a there's better stuff to give Corvin than this. I don't need it. The dial-on chip is, is good. It just comes in kind of late compared to when I would actually use it. For this next battle, we want Topple Resist. Only requires two items to make. Quite reasonable. Uh, boost topple resistance by 50% at level 5. We can get a little more of that from, uh, we can get a little worse from the level 4. Which requires 6 items to make for some reason. As we have established, he'll use Pyra for no good reason. So you might as well have it on both forms. 
I'm gonna be bringing in uh, Morag for this. I, I figure it's easier to do it this way than to make poppy swap stuff for all of Tora's different forms. And then Corvin, you can have one of these topple resists. Dogus, you're gonna have another. And I need another one for Pandoria. Our next battle takes place at the industrial zone upper duct in the old factory. Let's Every time I think I'm done Let's going go. to this friggin' awful place, it just keeps happening. It's somewhere around here. This one's not all that bad. Uh, Zeke I'm playing as just because I think he's kind of earned it. Uh, he's the only driver besides Nia that we've yet to play as in this video, so I thought it would be kind of nice to share the love around. Uh, there it is. Chicken Heart Dagmara. <laughs> Give it all you've got. Today I learned Mind Chicken Heart is an adjective. Is how unique monsters are named. This thing is an evil little Pepito. He is ludicrously hard to inflict with break. He evades arts constantly, and he's so high above the level cap that his break resistance is gonna be hard to get through. Uh, his auto attack inflicts topple, as you saw with Rex right there. We can't stop that altogether, but we can at least reduce it. We can diminish the effects of it. I just heard it in George Lucas's voice. How do I have the aggro? I know I'm using Dogus, but yikes. Thank you, Morag. Thank you for taking it. Uh, besides that, he can driver combo you, and that's about it. There's not much to say about him. Um, Enraged makes him avoid the next 20 hits, so be on the lookout for that. He doesn't have a lot of HP either. The main thing is that he can run away from battle, and I think he can also call for reinforcements. You want to be on the lookout for that and make sure that he uh, doesn't get a chance. I get why aggro is going around so much. It's because of people getting toppled and not being able to attack like they're supposed to. Uh, Rex, you gonna... I'm toppled. Uh, Rex, you gonna... Okay, uh, let's try that again. Oh, I have multiple blades on Morag when I shouldn't do that. I only wanted her inflicting break. That's why things are not going so hot. Pew pew? Rex, maybe you should slow down. Uh, this got bad. This got bad. This got real bad. I'm very sorry. I'll kill you. guys just said die and I'll kill you. Give it all you've got! Zeke! Royals are supposed to have people fight for them! Zeke's not so good at the royalty thing. Surely even your majesty must know that. I'm really feeling it. As per usual, we don't let him do things, we interrupt those things. Do a blade combo finisher? I got a level 4 special with Tagus, actually. So I can just be ready for the next thing. Master Art! That, that's going to be the full driver combo that I warned you about! What is a man? I will never not say it with him. He knew what they were doing with that. Oh, he's so cute with his glowy eyes. Evade? No! You gotta be kidding me. Oh god, Rex is almost dead. Um. <laughs> this might go badly still. Morag is dead. Mega explosion. Yeah, wow, okay. My boy. That went a lot better than I thought it would. It was a slight struggle toward the end, but it wasn't so bad. And besides, enemies get enraged. It happens. Uh, from that, we got a revival pod. 100% chance to survive an attack with 1 HP plus 5 seconds of invincibility. It's Taurus skill in the form of an item. Fast Blade Switch 5. You know what it does. The Master Attachment. Prion Chip. Oh boy, okay. Uh, we got something there. I'm at 94 rare core crystals now. And these topple resists are the ones that I just made. The Prion chip is the best auto attack chip in the game. If you want raw damage, this has got it. The only downside is no secondary effects, and those can occasionally be fantastic on just the right blades. We're giving that to Pyra. Almost 1500 auto attack. I'd be willing to wager that she's better than Mithra in that way now. Yes, actually she is. Mithra's got the higher critical hit rate, so her damage is going to come out to being better anyway, unless we're talking blade combo damage. Uh, this is unreal how strong the Aegis has gotten. Up next is our final battle. And before doing that, I chose to go back and fight Cloud Sea King Ken one more time for his materials. 
This made me realize that I didn't know where his tombstone was, and it was a pain in the ass. It's southwest of, uh, of the uh, landmark that you used to get to him. Southeast of the uh, other landmark that you don't use to get to him. You see what I mean. Uh, this made me realize how kind of crappy it is that you can't see the tombstones on the map, especially because the next two games in the series would go on to do that. It made me realize how much I appreciate that and how I will not take it for granted anymore. Dora, turn them to not, not a bland Rush. Oopa. I was never the cautious type. Tora's being devoured alive! That was epic looking! He just was going right into the birth of the bosom! You know, you could play as Tora and get lots of uh, core crystals and moon matter chips. Or you could play as Morag and hear what? 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 <laughs> I think the choice is clear. <laughs> I finally get a moon matter chip when this thing is almost dead. I intended to just run from the fight once I had it. That's fine. I'm gonna need more of them eventually anyway. Dinner is served. What was that? Come on, stop wasting our time. Dude, having a squid that large for dinner, that sounds amazing. I wanna eat Cloud Sea King again. I got one Moon Matter Chip in that entire run. So a cool trick that you can do with the Moon Matter Chip that I glossed over earlier is give it to Corvin. Him not having a better core chip is what reminded me. If you equip that, he's got a 60% critical hit chance. And if we were to say, take Mithra's clothes off and put them on Corvin, his critical hit rate is now 75%. At max affinity, he will get critical hits 97.5% of the time. This is the single best critical hit rate achievable other than Numa or Fiora. It helps keep aggro on him if you want to tank, and he's practically unhittable if you have Mithra in another slot in the party. It's nuts. Combine that with Galactic Strike and how that works, and you got yourself one good blade. You know what? I was actually going to attempt the next fight that we're doing with Morag, but I think I'm going to attempt it with Corvin because he is my favorite. He is my favorite blade, and we haven't used him a whole lot lately. Okay, where are we off to? I realized hey, something. We can do half bad. Nia's been a driver lately. She can actually not max this out. Bad, not bad at all. Not going to be using this overdrive protocol in any foreseeable future, but I might as well take it before we start over. I chose to use some ultimate weaponry on Corvin to get his arts all the way up, because we have just so many of these items that we're not using, and this is exactly what you should use them for, overdriving a blade to a new driver and having them be great right away. I chose to say no to Dynasty Sweep, which increases aggro drawn from driver arts, to do increased damage from the front, increased damage to enemies targeting user, and of course, Galactic Strike, which might just be the best art in the game, other than Poppy Cutie Pie's uh, break art. Our final battle, the strongest enemy of them all, takes us to the Ardanian garrison in Temperatia. No, it's oh, not a slow. soldier, as much All as I right. wish it Where was, and the ultimate enemy was shouting, think you can take me, don't forget me. Uh, I, I wish it was the case so much, but it's really not. Uh, an ox core that I can recommend for this fight is Night Vision. I'm trying it with just Night Vision on Corvin to see how it goes. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna do in this Oof. fight, because admittedly, I've never played it before. We want to take this pathway from the west of the Ardanian garrison to go to a whole new place that we've never discovered before. Gee, when there's one little light at the uh, mouth of that tunnel, it just makes it look all the more scary, like it's going to devour you. It actually looks more scary than if there was no light here. They knew what they were doing. Corvin sure dropping a lot of his feathers. Uh, it's okay. I'm scared too. Right. Uh, yeah. Cool. I remember what, what we have to you? do. Wow. Easy. <laughs> number one. Oh, we got this. Number one gives a common core crystal and endurance four. You could come here and get these chests much, much earlier. Also, I need to check this. Uh, I have 99 rare core crystals. I need to change that. Numero dos! These field skill checks are pathetic. That gives a 
common core crystals. Two common core crystals and a fast blade switch four. Ooh. And lastly. Let's clear this up quick. <laughs> Easy peasy. Come on. You gotta have something tougher than that for me to deal with, right, game? I'm tempting fate. I know what I'm saying. I'm saying bring it on! Malign miasma! So dark mastery is needed for this. And you might want to bring dark blades into this fight. I'll just say that much. Talos is able to make the skill check all by herself. Darkness swallow you. Didn't realize dark mastery was her skill that she gets at the level five. Every blades usually got one. Frozen barrier. I call upon the power of fire. I said I wanted a challenge. It gave me field skill checks. Take cover! That. I didn't want to fight you yet. I wanted to roll for initiative. Get me out of here. It looks kind of dopey just fumbling around all over the place being like, oh, where'd you go? I can't see anything. They strapped this hunk of metal to my face. Why would they do that? So first off, because I'm using night vision and not sunlight eye, I want to have, uh, I want to have it be nighttime for this so that my accuracy is better. It is now officially nighttime. Rex, you get rid of Talos and you get rid of Electra right now, mister. We'll have Adenine out. I forget what his elemental weakness is, but I'm sure we'll be able to inflict it. Tora could be decent to have, I guess. Um, I mainly have Mithra for the evasion, but well, I did want to show Corvin paired with Mithra. Yeah. Tyranno Titan Curadil! Highest level in all rest! To match his level of 130, he has 130% break resistance! Combine that with a level disadvantage, and he's probably not going to be taking that so easily. He's rough! He really is! But he drops damn good items. You get good stuff from fighting. Oh god. Uh, Bone Crusher is big damage to something that is behind him, and Rex just liked hanging out back there. I can use this and go Shia, 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 Shia over and over again. It is a strat to be sure. He's got a few arts to look out for. Rex, you get up. You do light. You get over to me. I need to not have anyone behind him. Nia, what are you doing over there? As soon as I say it. Uh, okay. Uh, I need to be facing over here. We'll do an evasion art. Good, Gamma Ray. That evasion art is so freaking good. I just love it so much. And even when I'm not using it, he's barely hitting us at all. I got my level four. Didn't interrupt the damage, unfortunately. 1998, good year. I think I was in second grade then. It's a very ear-pleasing year number, you see. These are the things I'm talking about while fighting the hardest enemy in the game, of course. Ah! If we can inflict him with a combo of some kind, Anonia's got the break arts. Bridget is another good pick for this fight. With her having uh, increased uh, resistance to uh, ranged attacks, you won't have to worry about her taking damage. You can just kind of attack away and you think you're pretty fine. There are multiple strategies to this. I don't think that this is the hardest. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God. I didn't resist that. That's Doom, a status that we are familiar with. After about five seconds of base time, we die. That's uh, what you gotta Just look out for. My lead. I'm not gonna get an orb smash on this. Uh, yeah. All right. Get this. Go for it, Corvin. <laughs> He's all the way over there. <laughs> the camera took a while to pan over. Don't mind if I do. It's okay though. Not every chain attack's gotta be an orb smashing slam fest. Sometimes you just wanna interrupt him doing stuff. That's the important thing. But after five seconds of base time, uh, unless you interrupt it, you will die. Battle Alert! Gives him perfect evasion and resets all aggro to zero. While not devastating on its own, it can certainly throw a wrench into a thing. Gotcha. Some kind of auto attack combo that looked like. 
I'm so scared to switch off of Corvin because he's just got the answer to everything. It's a matter of do you want more orbs or do you want to be able to win this? This is another enemy that's worth farming. Yeah, strongest enemy in the game, farm it. I know what I said, it's a good tip. He drops some of the best items there are and you want to make sure that you, uh, I'd like to smash him at least once in this fight is what I am saying. Though I don't know what the odds of that actually happening are looking like now. Titan's Awakening. Oh, there's the mask off. Yeah, so now he's less inhibited. He gets enraged. That's going to be a mess. Mithra. Mega Explosion, go. Oh, it's Kassan! He's so cute. I haven't seen that face in a while. Or that thigh. <laughs> Blow him down with your thigh. There we go. And then, not caring about blade combos anymore, I can just interrupt him whenever he does anything now. We got a chain attack as a backup, so I'll be okay building up to my level 4 special again! I'm glad we're actually using level 4 specials. I tend to get impatient and not use them very much. Just because the level 3 is available sooner and I care more about the blade combo effects in most fights and getting orbs built up. But we're at a point now where that's not always the smartest idea. Ha! Give me my evasion! Long evasion arts are the name of the game. That's what takes care of super boss. Ruinous weather? Okay, I'll take another one of these. Wasn't actually trying to get another orb, but I'll take it. We got fire blades. He's up to three now. Ultra annihilation flare! Watch out for that! It's as dangerous as it sounds. Have something to interrupt it whenever he does it. At all costs, level four special chain attack, blade combo finisher, whatever you can do, do it. Huh. Almost at half out. Oh, uh, go for. I think steam bomb. Uh, steam bomb would lead into ice, which I don't have. Is the problem. Yeah, sure, you can do it. I don't care that much. No effect. Yeah, this is beautiful just how often we're evading stuff and then we have an evasion art on top of that if we're really afraid of something that's probably gonna hit us. My accuracy is high due to the night vision. I need to build up my level four here. Oh, we actually got... Oh. Dagas. Pandoria? I'm not gonna get over to that smash in time, unfortunately, so I'm not gonna be able to get the items. Uh, go for a blade combo finish. Just so we'll get some burst damage on him. Pyre is good to do this with anyway. I think I still have my top over this gear on from the other fight, actually. I could be doing better than I am. Barrel auto cannon, that's AoE. It's hitting everyone in front. Fan shape. Front attack, murder ray! Oh, no, 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 you don't, no, you don't, no, you don't! Here comes Thunderbolt Zeke. I do have Adenine here who would raise damage with Dagas and hit its elemental weakness because she's Adenine. Let's try it. Dagas. Gotta do what we can. Magnificent. You're up, chum. Rex has Pyra to smash the orb. See? And if we can just hit the light orb one time next round, we got that too. Adenine, go. Kind of sucks that we're not using Mithra for this, though, but I guess Pyra's got good specials. We ain't done yet. Dagas! Any orb will do it. Ready or Gormati. Good damage out of Adenine. Magnificent. Get a load of this! Magnificent. You're up, chum! Hey, you got it. Level three is good! Shred down that health bar! 100,000 damage a hit! Adenine! Do I get another round or don't I? I smash two orbs in one round. I forget if that means I get one or not. Finish. No, it doesn't. I got three million damage, though. If I need to activate Numa, I can do that as well. 
need my level 4 special though before we can really think about doing that. I can build up some more orbs while I'm at it. Got it. Steam Bomb. Just auto attacking me, swatting in the air. He looks so clumsy just bopping around. <laughs> He's so animated. It's kind of cute actually. Rampaging Train! Gotcha. That's AoE and it inflicts launch on everything around him, so I wanted to get the chain attack off ASAP. Go Dagas! Can we just hurry up and do it? Yeah, can you? You're the one wielding the weapon right now, man. You don't get to say that to me in this situation. Flame Nova! Elemental weakness with Dagas! That didn't do as much as I thought. Oh, well. I'm ready. Oh my God. Eagle Eye. Did you see that? Battle alert. No, you do not. No, you do not. No, you do not. Not like this. We ain't losing now. We have come so far. And look at our party gauge. It's already full again. Don't care about that art. That thing can. You can do that all you want all day. I don't care. I'm actually canceling into myself again. I don't think I actually have the art recharge on that I could have. Uh, let's get Nia up. Uh, no, let's get level four. I need to be very careful right now. I don't want to use up my chain attack if I don't have my level four to fall back on. Good, using that thing. It's a wicked utility belt you got on there, bud. I want to get away from Nia just to make sure I don't accidentally res her. Being so careful. Being so careful. Being so careful. I probably don't need to be this careful. Our auto attacks are doing enough. I'm just waiting for the next art. We got this. <laughs> I don't know what I'm so afraid of. Corvin, you're the one who put in the work. You get the finishing blow, not Dagus. The lowly squire taking over the king? Blasphemy! You're done! It's my battle call now. I do it so often. We didn't smash him one time, but... Oh, he drops good items. Let me tell you about the items he drops. Did you see that? With Tora, we could have absolutely farmed more of this stuff off of him. He gives us a galaxy cube. Rare core crystal, legendary core crystal, diamond. Good selling item. World Tree Drop already recommended this for Tora, and the Tachyon Ship. Tachyon Ship is the best core chip for anyone who gets a cr the critical damage effect from it. If I were to go into my blades right now, he uh, Corvin will counter with uh, he gets spike damage. I don't care. Pandoria gets increased critical damage by twenty five percent. Dagus gets increased critical damage by twenty five percent. Mithra. Get spike damage. I know it's not. It's good. Um, you also are seeing. You're, you also are seeing how good that auto attack is. It's I think the second best in the entire game while having these bonus effects. It is for many blades the ultimate core chip, and I'm gonna show you the best use for it. <laughs> Shulk gets the increased critical damage effect. Elma gets the increased critical damage effect, and. Fiora gets the increased critical damage effect. <laughs> Without a doubt, Fiora is your best use for this thing. It's outrageous how good this thing is. So she has a 41% critical hit rate. What's utterly amazing is that with Warrior Valkyrie, she gets 40% more critical rate at max affinity. When max affinity increases the rate anyway. Explosion of energy also makes her critical hits cause extra damage. <laughs> and uh, I guess she's also got this thing as well. But my point is, you don't need a moon matter chip or any kind of increased critical hit rate on her. With the Tachyon chip, you can go all in on her damage and she will still be able to hit the 98% cap for, um, for getting critical hits. while getting 25% more damage out of how much her critical hits already do. 
I did accidentally leave my topple resist equipment on some of my blades. That's kind of funny. I was suboptimal for that fight, and I still did that well on my first try ever. I can't believe I actually won! <laughs> Getting a good sense for how the game is played, I guess. To explain what we just fought lore-wise, Tyranitite and Curadil is an Ardanian Titan weapon. We fought one directly at last. It seems as though they froze it in an iceberg fearing what it would do. Then the Ignas found it and worshipped it as their god, which is kind of amusing. According to the internal files, Curadil is a unique monster of a species called a Ballastar. Because he's the only one of his kind, we can't see that in normal gameplay. He... It's essentially an unused race name. We stand tall, victorious against the strongest enemies Alres has to offer. Next time on Xenoblade Chronicles 2, we start all over again in New Game Plus. And believe me, you're, if you have not seen this before, oh, prepare to be blown away because there is so much new content in New Game Plus. And it's free DLC too. Just update your game and you have it. Not paid. See you guys then.